Hey guys, welcome back to Little Review. I have a doing very, very nice, and I'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. Today's video is a book recommendation video. I'm recommending 10 books that you can read in the morning, 10 non fiction books that will help you evolve as a person, that will help you grow, that will help you become the person that you specifically want to be. I have read all of these books myself and all of these books have helped me a lot in my own journey. Two things before we start the video. One, I have tried a new approach with this video and the POV, the point of view is that it is a webinar and there are people asking me questions about their specific needs for a specific book recommendation and I am recommending those books to them. After a session on evolution and after like you know a talk or a conversation on evolution, I feel like when you are growing as a person there are so many things that you have to keep in mind when you're choosing a book if you don't choose the right book in the process you end up either beating yourself up way too much or not taking any steps at all towards your growth number two i have used the word evolution a lot during the whole video i just want to say that evolution over here means growing and changing as a person change word has some negative notions attached with it which is why i don't use it even for myself i'm sweating a lot i always use the word evolve for myself i always which is the word evolution journey for myself also this is the first time i'm actually trying something like this so i really hope you guys enjoy it i have created the video alone so if there are any mistakes or anything i apologize in advance but i can be very very sure that you're gonna get amazing book recommendations so do watch the video till the end let's begin and that is how you begin to live the life that you love creating not only living you start enjoying the process of it you start enjoying evolution Thank you so much for being here we really appreciate you being here and we enjoyed the entire conversation that you had so much i do want to ask what do you enjoy about evolution and what is your favorite part about evolution thank you so much for the appreciation and thank you so much for having me over here i love i love talking about evolution i think that one of the things that i realized in my own journey was that evolution or the process of growth is so important and it is so different for everybody which is why i thought that i should talk about this more often we always talk about the end result of evolution the kind of life that you enjoy after evolution but what about that entire process and there are so many ways to do it and everybody's needs are so different so i think it is very important that we look within ourselves and cater to the needs of us of yourself when it comes to evolution instead of trying to follow a set pattern or like follow a set path that was very very helpful thank you so much thank, thank you thank you so much for having me over here now that i am done with everything that i had to say let's open the floor for questions you can ask me questions related to evolution or you can also ask me for book recommendations related to evolution because i do have some books in mind that will help you to evolve yes you please that was amazing i had so much thank fun you, thank you so much my question is that i feel kind of so sad and lost in life because i don't really like myself a lot no one really likes me i don't really have a lot of people around me and the people who do know me don't like me i feel like i'm not living i feel like i'm just existing you, so you know you want to change on a psychological level I do want to change on a psychological level. I think that that will help me. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. It is very difficult for us to change every single person around us or change our circumstances or try to control things that are not under our control. But we can definitely take care of us and do things that make us feel better. Exactly. I want to live, love and laugh. I can definitely give you a book for that. The book that I would love to recommend for you over here or anyone who's going through anything like this in their life is The Courage to be disliked have you read this book yes the courage to be disliked i started reading it in the morning with my own honey lemon water or coffee and i was trying to understand who i am and honestly people pleasing has been one of the biggest traits in me i want everyone around me to like me at all times but because of that it was very difficult for me to prioritize myself and i feel like i kept trying to change the people around me because i felt like if they don't like me then 
I have to change them or they have to change me and either of these things will make my life easier and they will like me and I will like them and we will have harmony around us and I will be happy and all those sorts of things but honestly speaking that's not exactly how it works the courage to be disliked is such a wholesome book it's written in a conversation style where there's a philosopher and a young man who is very very stubborn by the way and he is very pessimistic oh I'm very optimistic okay you're an optimistic but he is very very pessimistic so the questions that he asked the philosophers is like insane and he's so stubborn with it you know and they talk and they talk and they talk and then they come to a point where the philosopher is able to reveal that that our young man does not like himself only how will he have the courage to be disliked by other people around him and it is an amazing amazing book that will help you to understand yourself more the cool part over here and why i'm recommending this book is specifically to you is because you want to change on a psychological level and this book deals with two kinds of psychologies adler psychology and the freudian psychology i'm not sure how to say that name so if you want proper psychological answers mixed with a bit of philosophy then this is an amazing book for you and it's very very easy to read thank you i'll give it a go then definitely please do read it let me know what you think about it next question hello uh i have re recently realized that i used to be like in a box i always mm -hmm. thought that i can either be this or that and now i have realized that you know both i can be both i so relate with that yes but the thing is that i don't really have the tools to live that kind of a life you know like how do i create a vision for myself i am so right. used to making plans and sticking with them and not knowing what to do and feeling like this fomo and all of those things how do i move ahead that first of all is an amazing question i feel like especially in this day and age where we have so many options around us all the time it does become very difficult to understand what we want to do and because we have grown up in a society or we have grown up in an environment where you have to have everything planned and where you have to have a you know fixed plan for your future it becomes very difficult to understand what we should be doing next the book i would like to recommend and i actually have it with myself is this it's called visionary thinking by ashish jaiswal ashish jaiswal by the way is like this amazing amazing author if you're struggling with this thing of being in a box and you're not able to understand where you should be going or you are not able to like fit into one box you should also read his book fluid but because you know you can be both of them you just don't know how to do it this is definitely your book visionary thinking is all about having a vision <laughs> <laughs> kidding visionary thinking actually introduces this concept of a sketcher versus a painter where ashish jaiswal is talking about two kinds of people or two kinds of mindsets actually where we have one mindset that if this is fixed this is only what i can do and nothing else and exactly if you don't do it you're wrong and you're missing yes, out yes and the other mindset is about how you keep changing yourself and adapting yourself to evolution you, you keep adapting yourself to your own desires or whatever you think you should be doing or whatever actually kind of you know ignites that passion within you and i feel like it is amazing and that is just the first part of the book where you understand this concept the second part of the book is even cooler because ashish jaiswal actually tells us how we can do it how we can become a visionary thinker this book is definitely going to help you with the techniques let me just talk about this one technique or like this one concept that definitely like completely boggled my mind it was the 10 year life principle and planting your first visionary tree what this book recommends is you plant a visionary tree for yourself every 10 years so you take one seed which is you take one passion or one idea or whatever it is and you plant it which is you start working on it and give yourself 10 years to fulfill that one seed and the book mentions that this should this should be taught in schools as early as possible or to children as early as possible and i completely agree with that because we grow up thinking that oh my god like we have to like you know find out what we want in from life and just like get it as soon as possible and you know we are going to die and all of those kind of things but we need this specific concept so badly so that we can give ourselves the time to evolve so that we can give ourselves the time to follow our passion without any fear so we can take risks so we can be creative is it research based i love research based books. yes the, the amount of research that has gone into this book which is why you will enjoy it a lot a lot of examples a lot of heavy research a lot of uh, inspiration from our ancient texts and ancient um, 
methodology method uh, methodology and everything it is amazing i feel like you will like eat this book up it's going to be amazing for you great i'll give it a shot great next question hi uh, my question is that i know kind of like where i want to be and loa has helped me a lot in being there loa the law of attraction yes uh, the law of attraction and i know where i want to be but i don't really have that kind of faith in you know spirituality or meditation Def- definitely i mean i don't think that you can have like you can just like start having faith in something right away or a lot of us need like you know science backed facts or scientific ways of learning something everybody cannot learn one thing in the same way so if you're not able to get into spirituality or meditation it is completely completely fine the good thing is that you already have a vision of who you want to be or you already have a picture of who you want to be you just don't know how to do it you just don't think that it is possible right and the law of attraction is not working for you so i completely get it i have the best book for you over here you are going to love me so much you have no idea and i love it when people love me i already love you the book that i would recommend is breaking the habit of being yourself by dr joe dispenza it is so good yes i've heard of him yes you've heard yes dr joe dispenza is very very famous i suggest that you read this book in the morning itself and very little by very little this book is going to teach you the law of attraction in a very scientific manner using quantum physics oh my god quantum physics quantum physics exactly it helps you to understand the how the law of attraction is working on a cellular level now if you don't like science if you don't like quantum anything related to quantum physics or physics and anyone who does not have a vision of where you want to be or you don't exactly know what you want to do then this book is not meant for you you know i have other books for you you can ask me right now in the first two three parts i think we understand how everything is affecting us on a cellular level and then joe dispenza also gives you techniques as to how you can change it and how you can evolve with the help of law of attraction only but in a very quantum physics sciencey way and it is amazing he also talks about meditation actually because meditation is one of like the best ways to do it but again he talks about it very very scientifically and i think it will make more sense to you if you're not able to just like you know sit and do meditation and stuff like that aren't his books like expensive i think that there are many concepts that you will really enjoy in, in this book it's a little expensive but it is so worth the price and it's easy to read yes it's definitely easy to read just read it slowly it's definitely easy to read great i'll make the investment thank you next question hi uh some things have happened in my past which i don't want to share but i feel like i have some emotional trauma and it's holding me back First of all I'm so sorry that you had to go through something like that. Uh I don't exactly know what you have been through and I don't exactly know what you're going through and I'll never be able to understand your pain, but I am so sorry that you're going through it. I feel like a lot of us have some amount of trauma within us and we want to succeed in life and we don't even know that that trauma is holding us back, right? And we want to let it go but we don't know how to do it. I highly recommend that you see a therapist. First of all, therapy will help you so much with this. but along with therapy i think that this book will really help you and the book is letting go by david hawkins it is a very deep book the language is very very heavy in the book and it really really dives deep into all sorts of trauma there is or the emotions related to trauma now this book is in no way a replacement for therapist or mental health work or anything or like psychologist or anything but i think it does help you on some or the other level which is why i'm saying that please do take therapy but along with that you can read this book too this book is complete theory it helps you understand your emotions why you may be experiencing them why general human beings go through certain emotions and what their response can be to trauma all those kind of things you have to really take it in you have to really take it slow but it's all theory then you have to apply it in your own life in your own way so is it like a psychological book or like a spiritual book it's a mix of spirituality and psychology and it does help you a lot to understand the process of letting go and also how you feel after letting go i think it can be very inspiring also and i really hope it helps you great i'll read it and see a therapist please take care thank you next question hi i am bored of basic motivational books uh huh yes i've read so many i'm bored i want something that shocks me to my core <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we've all been there. I think there's always a point where you, especially you're a reader. You're a reader. Like you're a, you're an avid reader. Oh yes, I'm like a non-fiction junkie. Yeah, especially if you're reading non-fiction, not just to like learn stuff, but also explore different mindsets or different types of psychologies or philosophies or whatever it is. We do come to a point where things become repetitive. The book that I have for you is Intuition by Osho. Osho is mind. Boggling. I've mind. heard him, but is he it, going to shock me? Like shock me. It is going to shock you. It is definitely going to shock you. See, from what I can gather, you already know what it is to evolve in the evolutionary process and everything. And I feel like you've learnt it and you are practicing it, right? I've read all the books you just talked about. Yeah. And now you want something deeper. And I feel like intuition is that kind of a book because all of the psychology philosophy lifestyle evolution everything there's steps right and it is all something that you can read about in book but when it comes to your intuition no one can explain it and i don't even think i don't think even osho was able to like explain it like that you know because no one can explain intuition but this book is so beyond anybody's contemplation and so beyond what you can think about or like what you see around you like socially acceptable and non acceptable things and rules and osha has written and talked about intuition and other aspects in form of facts right so he has just given his perspective and now it is your choice what you want to do with it so will i learn about intuition will i enjoy it see like i i want to have fun with it you will you will definitely enjoy it but i do want to say it is completely your responsibility you know as to what you want to take from the book and what you want to let go is it easy to read is it easy language I think that if you are not an avid reader you should not read this book. It's easy language only. It's not like difficult to read and it is very mind boggling at points. But you need to understand the world of books to dive into this book because you need to understand that everything that is written in a book is not something that you have to accept for yourself. It will definitely like give you questions and you know give you brain food and amazing things and it will help your intuition. It will help you become more intuitive. Next question please. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can I just say I'm really enjoying this entire session? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, my question is that I have done all the emotional work and I have perfect goals like what I want to achieve, but I keep procrastinating. Okay? So I right, so I need like a step-by-step -step process that I can use to achieve the goals that I want to achieve. Right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there are like tons of books like that. Absolutely. I I have a book for you. Procrastination can be so linked to emotions. You Me it's fear of failure. Yeah, you already know that. All you need are practical steps in your evolutionary process, right? Exactly. Action steps. The best book for you will be Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Once you have dealt with who you want to be, once you have dealt with the emotional side of it, you have faith and you know that this is exactly what I want to do and you want the practical steps how you're supposed to set goals how you're supposed to make to do lists how you're supposed to procrastinate less and all you want is a simple book that can just give you these tools this is an amazing book for you brand tracy books are amazing but this like this one specifically eat that frog is the perfect book for you it's 21 lessons to procrastinate less and it has 21 chapters it is very very pointed it is a no brainer you can also read it like uh you read one chapter and you practice it a little bit and then you move ahead and you go to the second chapter you know it's very practical it's beyond practical practical steps are very very important you may have as much faith and as much amazingness and you know everything you know exactly where you want to be you ha you may have all the clarity but if you don't have the steps it becomes very difficult to reach over there and this this book makes it very very easy uh, with the steps you learn everything next question hi there hello my question is really simple and straight i overthink a lot overthinking aren't like all of us there <laughs> at least i know i am yeah like overthinking is a big part of my life unfortunately and i also like really victimize myself i think that it is very easy and kind of like a human response victimizing yourself you know when you're going through something and it's absolutely normal first of all i think all of us do it it can definitely hinder your growth and it can definitely keep you from living a joyful life you know that you deserve for yourself i think the book kind of like an audiobook actually that i would like to recommend for you uh, you can also read the book power of now by eckhart tolle but for you specifically wait you want easy language right yes easy and practical that's not too heavy yeah so uh, i think that you can read power of now also but i think for you specifically you can listen 
to practice in the power of now by Eckhart Tolle it is available i think on multiple audiobook platforms like storytel audible listen to it at night so put it on put it like sleep timer and sleep that is what i did because you want this to work on a subconscious level because overthinking and you know victimizing yourself it's kind of like a psychological or a subconscious pattern that all of us have to help you on a subconscious level if you listen to it while you're sleeping your subconscious is getting rewired because at that time your subconscious is the most active it will help you to understand really really deep concepts of like pain of ego you know ego is a big it plays a big role in uh, making decisions it will help you to understand gratitude all of these really heavy things heavy concepts it's like very very easy to understand when you're listening to this audiobook because Eckhart Tolle is amazing he is so so good he has made everything so simple listen to it once completely consciously and then just put it on a loop when you're sleeping for a few days i think it will help you a lot but also obviously also practice it there are ways to practice it giving the book in the audiobook practice it all right you guys it's getting a little late i'm just gonna take the last two three questions now next question my question is that i have no idea what the subconscious mind is mm -hmm. and i know it plays a big role uh -huh. and it's kind of scary you know not knowing something that plays such a big role oh my god this is so similar to how i used to be yeah like what if i'm doing something subconsciously mm -hmm. and that's ruining my life how do i know when i came to know that your subconscious is playing such a huge role in literally everything that you're doing i was like whoa and you don't always know what is going on in your subconscious right you have to take control and you have to consciously work on that to understand how your subconscious works which is where i recommend you read the power of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy yes yes the power of your subconscious by my mind by uh, dr joseph murphy i think it will help you to understand the basics of subconscious very very well it has way too many examples it talks about belief and faith you may not be able to get into that so i suggest that once you read this if you are not the kind of person that is into spirituality you can read the book that i recommended breaking the habit of being yourself because that's scientific right but to kind of like get an introduction to what subconscious mind is because it is so important in the evolution process you can read power of your subconscious mind it is very very easy to read great so i'll start with this Next. then i'll just yeah. move on to some other book if i require it yeah you can do that awesome this was helpful great i really hope this book helps you and you know on your journey because subconscious whoa next question hi my question is that i've already read the power of your subconscious mind mm -hmm. but i want to like get deeper right into the concept of the subconscious yeah. mind uh, the power of your subconscious mind is definitely a good beginner's book. If you want to go deeper into subconscious, you can read As You Think by James Allen. Now, this is a heavy book. As You Think by James Allen is this like really thin book. It's so thin and it's so tiny and you will be like, oh my God, like why am I reading this? But like read one page a day, that is it. You know, I won't suggest you read more than that because it's so heavy and it talks about the subconscious in a beautiful language the language is gorgeous but on a much much deeper level the author is james james allen uh, as you think by james allen this will have to be the last question hello hi there hello i want a book recommendation to build habits you have you read uh Ato yeah yeah i've already read atomic habits oh yeah i always talk about atomic habits when it comes to habits yes so you've read atomic habits i love it but it's not helpful yeah yeah like it's very practical but it didn't help like at all it did it's amazing i got all the practical steps but i'm just not mm -hmm. able to stick to the steps i'm not able to stick right. to the habits yeah uh i get it i totally get it i think the best book for you is badass habits by jen sincero atomic habits is such a brilliant book right but it is practical just like i talked about eat that frog which is practical there is an emotional side to habits too which you will read in badass habits by jen sincero it is very easy to read it will help you so much with like your emotional side of habits why are you building the habit you know are you building it because you should are you building it for your body are you building it because you don't like yourself the way you are you know what is the motivation behind it who do you identify yourself as all of these questions go behind building a habit and i did not know that i felt like if i want to build a habit just like start doing the techniques you know even if it is tough like go go 
go but that's not how it works and badass habits makes it so easy for you all right you guys that was actually the last question i really hope you guys enjoyed the session today uh, i really hope we can do more of this so that's it thank you so much for having me i'll see you guys very very soon bye